I started here at roughly 10 years ago, and my research focus is majorly on heterogeneous catalysis, nanomaterials. So we majorly focus on the synthesis, cartelization, and also the study their catalytic properties. Uh, our major system include uh, like metal organic frameworks, intermetallic compounds, and also porous material. The most exciting research in my group right now is on plastic upcycling. And uh, we all know that plastic has become a bigger problem globally. So currently in the Earth system, there are about 7 billion metric tons, tons of uh, plastic uh, in the Earth system. That, that's uh, posed a huge uh, uh, pollution or environmental concerns uh, to the global um, population. So what we are trying to do right now is to develop a new chemistry method to do the plastic upcycling because uh, uh, that's the only way that you can make the material has higher value because uh, we do need the incentive for the whole society to actually become uh, take action to address this problem. Um, so my group right now is developing new catalyst. We try to break uh, polymers into very selective products and that uh, all will have a very high value compared to the starting polymer and that hopefully all the industry people will take our approach and really put a lot of big effort to address this problem. At the same time, my group of course will welcome all the new talent to join our team to address this very, very serious problem and we really have not a lot of time left to address this problem. So graduate students will learn many things including uh, you know, wet chemistry and uh, especially we do a lot of cartelization of our materials we made in our lab. So students will learn a lot of uh, cartelization techniques uh, and also we have major cartelization tools in our lab so students will also get uh, a lot of hand-on experience with the instrument and uh, that turned out to be very useful for the future uh, career development. And the student will also learn a lot of, about that analysis because uh, uh, we also pay quite a bit of attention on the PCAM side of the chemistry. So we do need to analyze that, our data carefully and also to uh, you know, uh, learn the material properties and uh, to make them uh, to correlate with their catalytic properties. Uh, we have a lot of cartelization technique in, available in the lab. For example, we have an uh, in-situ FDR. So that instrument allows you to uh, treat your sample at different temperature and at the same time uh, you can uh, flow different gas to do the treatment. Uh, we have, for example, surface cartelization techniques and uh, you can measure how big the surface area of your material is and also the pore volume. We also have, for example, elemental analysis technique. We have ICPMS in our lab. So you basically can get the uh, elemental content in the material that you are making. Uh, we also have various of uh, GC, GCMS, HPLC uh, techniques available in the group that uh, you all will get a hand-on experience. for graduate students, of course uh, they need working hard and uh, most importantly they really need to uh, um, try a lot of effort for them to improve their self, themselves because uh, that's really the purpose of uh, graduate education so they really, because we have to agree that every one of us is not perfect we come to improve uh, ourselves every day um, so that's uh, I really hope students uh, will you know uh, take uh, advice and uh, really improve themselves and uh, to be uh, very competitive when they at the time that they need to move on to to go to their next uh, stage of the career. Since I joined here, uh, I graduated six graduate students, and uh, right now. Uh, three of them find an the industry job. Uh, three of them went to academia to be a postdoc, and uh, the first uh, graduate student actually already be a professor now. So they, I would say, they all turn out to be in a place that they want to be. 
I'm very proud of them. Yeah, that's actually one big aspect of my research and uh, all my students, I think, benefit from collaboration. So we have a collaboration, uh, all the range from uh, basically synthesis, cartization, also the uh, property studies. So we, for example, collaborate with uh, spectroscopists to use their advanced tool that uh, almost not available in anywhere in the world to uh, help us to characterize our materials so that we can learn uh, a lot of atomic level information about the material which you cannot get from a typical material. And through this collaboration, also students will gain a lot of experience with the collaborative work, how to conduct the collaborative work efficiently, because uh, you can imagine in the future, all the major research projects you're gonna involve in the future is gonna involve a certain level of collaboration. So that's uh, very, Good experience for students to, to gain at an early stage of their career. Um, yeah, the best part I would say uh, we have very nice staff collaboration and also um, support from the department, from the uh, all the supporting staff. Uh, so, and our students are working hard and they collaborate. And that's, uh, I think, the best part of working.